everybody and welcome back to Art Like Heart. It is yet another Smart Art Art Box Challenge. Before we get into it, let me just give a big shout out to the Smart Art Company for sponsoring this video and helping me to continue to create fun and arty content for you. For those of you who don't know, Smart Art Box is a monthly subscription. Every month they send you a box full of art supplies to create a certain themed art challenge. And there are months that they send me things that I have never tried before. There are months that they send me things that I've always wanted to try but never have. And there are months that I have no clue what they have sent me. <laughs> this was kind of that month. I never even thought of this type of art before. So I was really excited to give it a try. So this is a printmaking stamping kind of kit. At first, I have to admit, I thought we were going to carve our own stamps. But instead, you have this paint that you put on a little gummy mat you'll see it in the video and then you lay down some greeting cards and it pulls up a print now the fun thing about the smart art boxes is everything you need to create these artworks is included in this box so they give you the paint the brayer which is that little roller thing this box also came with a package of greeting cards with envelopes really awesome and the little gummy board thing on top of that, they always send a really nice little pamphlet that talks about the art, kind of the inspiration behind it, gives you some detailed tips and tricks for it, along with a step-by-step -step instructions to create a specific art picture. Now you can do any kind of picture you want, but uh, if you have a hard time deciding what you want to do, then you can follow along exactly with what they tell you to do. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me. I hate reading instructions. There's just something about it that if I get a board game and it has instructions, ugh. if there's pictures, that's awesome. I'll look at pictures. And if there's little instructions, I will. But I just don't like reading instructions. Anybody else out there like that that does not like reading instructions? Is that just me? Anyway, I went through and quickly breezed through these instructions and then decided I'm just going to jump on YouTube because there are several different art YouTube channels that do a monthly video for smart art. And because I'm a little late on this one, I decided to go watch some of those videos. So I watched a few of them and then jumped into the actual creation process for making my own prints. So one thing I could tell right away, this is going to be a messy art project. So I brought out the good old handy dandy messy mat and then reached for my baby, I mean art wipes there, artist wipes. It's written on the title, artist wipes, and began to set up my workstation. So as per instructions, they say to drizzle a little bit of paint onto the little gummy mat, and then you can use the brayer to kind of smear it all around. Now, I am not a messy person. I don't like mess in my studio. I like to contain this. So as soon as I finished uh, rolling the paint on there, I grabbed some artist wipes and began to clean that off. The next fun thing to do with this art is you can make a fun pattern in the paint. As recommended and suggested in the Smart Art Box and in many of the videos that I watched, I used the bubble wrap that they included to keep everything safe to add a fun texture to my paint. Then laid the card down on top and pulling it back, revealed the amazing colored abstract art print on the front. So that was pretty fun. I think it was a success, but let's give it another go. Cleaning everything up again, I began to apply some other paint. This time, instead of going with all three colors, which the three colors they sent in the box was a red, white, and blue. Very patriotic. I decided to go strictly with blue and white. So smeared that on there and kind of got this nice little blend of colors. Instead of using something to create texture inside there that I would take the back of a paintbrush and kind of draw in a design. So I decided to write the word hello, which if you're going to print something onto something else, you have to write it in reverse, kind of mirrored. So I did that, plus I decided to do it in cursive. So um, yeah, bonus extra hard points for me, but I think it turned out okay. I could relate this art supplies very much to eating Mongolian barbecue. For those of you who have never had Mongolian barbecue, there's usually a buffet table with all sorts of vegetables and meats and sauces, and you just get this bowl and you just fill it up with whatever you want, and then you give it to the guy and he barbecues it up for you, and then eat it, and it's delicious, hopefully. 
the really good stuff comes when you get to the sauces because there's tons of different sauces sweet and sour sauce spicy sauce blah 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 lots of different sauces usually they have little recipes if you like this kind add one scoop of that and two scoops of this and a squeeze of that and you get this really cool flavor but i went with my friend and i followed the recipe and she just did her own thing and hers turned out so good i was just how did that turn out so good and she said well i've gone to mongolian barbecue for a long time. She's my favorite place to eat. And the more you eat Mongolian barbecue, the better you get at putting everything together. And I really think that this art medium is uh, very much like Mongolian barbecue. I think the more I play around with this, the better I'm going to get. The reason I think this is because the day after I recorded this video, I was searching online and another art YouTuber that I follow, The Frugal Crafter, who also does videos for Smart Art Box, put her video out. Now this is something she does a lot of, so I was curious to see someone who is really familiar with this kind of art form, what they would do, and it was fantastic what she did with this. I was like, really? Yeah, do this, and now I want to go back and redo my video, but I want to copy you. So if you guys want to see, this is the amateur version of how to use this. If you guys would like to see a more professional version of how to use this, I will leave a link to her video in the description box of this video. You can go over and check it out. And if you want to, tell her Art of the Cart sent you. But yeah, there's some fun stuff that you can do with this art medium. She added a few supplies of her own that I didn't have, but it would have been easy enough to get. It's not that hard. All in all, this was a fun challenge. It's something, again, I had never thought of doing before, and I really had a fun time completing this challenge. And now I have a bunch of really cool cards. And this is what also got me thinking. I've decided that I have three cards that I've done, and I want to give them away to you guys. So I'm going to do a little giveaway. If you'd like to enter this giveaway to get a card with a little note from me in the mail, there's just a couple things you have to do. First, you have to be 18 years or older or have your mom or dad or parental unit, guardian, whoever, it's permission. Um, simply because if you win the giveaway, I'm going to need your mailing address. Just need to make sure that's okay. The second thing you have to do is leave me a comment in the comment section below writing, enter me, and then let me know. Have you ever tried this kind of art medium before? So enter me and then let me know. Have you ever done something like this before? Next week, I will choose randomly three comments out of the comment section and we'll send you guys one of these three cards. I hope you enjoyed this little art challenge. I know I did and I'm very excited about next month's art box challenge. And again, a big thanks to the Smart Art Company for sponsoring this video and for letting me play with some fun art supplies. So until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye!